What's happening, family? Welcome to another series. We're excited here at TKL Productions, Race Solutions, because we're taking and going to throw a curveball at you. There's been a popular show called Empire. It's been on Fox. It's been rave reviews. People have been writing about it. And it presents a lot of things for us to talk about. And we want to introduce this new series, and I hope that you enjoy it. We're going to talk about it, we're going to discuss it, we're going to take the same message and weave it throughout this wonderful platform. At the end, it's going to be very soon, we're going to give you the opportunity to join us at a TKL Live event where we'll be discussing this live. We'll hear from you, the people of Atlanta. This series, Empire, it's a basic storyline. It's on Fox. Lee Daniels, a magnificent, talented writer, was the individual who wrote it. It's about an individual who started off Lucius Lyons, who was played by Terrence Howard. He was a drug dealer, and his drugs and his industry in the streets caused him to move towards and becoming and building an empire in music, a, a basically a modern day P. Diddy. And so the first thing that I desire to share with you is talking about images and how powerful images are. I want you to take your hand, uh, you see my hand, and I want you to take your hand and put it on your chin. Okay, take your hand and put it on your chin. Now, most of you there, you put your hand on your cheek and not your chin. And that's a great place for us to start because the image is in many instances more powerful than words. You were looking at what I did and influenced you more than what I was telling you. And we're seeing this particular uh, show, Empire, we have to think about how it's affecting the images of African Americans. Now, here you have this family, they're in the streets, they're hustling, not only um, Lucius, but Cookie, we'll talk about her. And we see all of this empire that's been built. But when you really, really think about that, if this was a particular storyline of Hispanics, of Asians, of different individuals outside of the African American community, people probably wouldn't gravitate towards it because it doesn't seem realistic. But how many times do we see African Americans portrayed in a negative light? Something that I want you to see, I want you to understand is the Academy and how media works. The Academy are the individuals in Hollywood and they dictate who gets the Golden Globes, who gets the Oscars, who gets the best director, best music. And just for a couple of seconds, think about all the African Americans within recent history who got the Oscar for the best actor, actresses. Denzel Washington gets Best Actor in Training Day. He's playing a corrupt, drug-dealing police officer. You got Holly Berry in Monsters Ball, who was written by the same writer of Empire, Lee Daniels. She plays this sleazy side piece of Billy Bob, you know, Billy Bob Thornton, who's in this particular movie called Monsters Ball. You see Forrest Whitaker, who plays this sadistic African king, last king of Scotland. The Academy does not give Best Actor and Actresses awards to the objective Best Actor and Actress, but it's the individuals who are embodying the roles that fit the images that they're trying to portray. It's propaganda. And as we're looking at Empire, those are the things that we have to really see. And this network called Fox is presenting this story of African-American male in the streets, hustling, becoming a media mogul. I'm tired of that storyline. I'm tired of every time that I see movies, that I'm seeing these major blockbuster hits, that they're portraying African-Americans in a negative light. And it's time that we, as a people, see that this is something that must be stopped. There was a, a great actor by the name of Idris Elba, and he, people were talking about him playing James Bond, the new 007. But people protested that because they said that because of his skin color, that it wasn't um, in alignment with the storyline, the original storyline. But on the same token, we see Moses, who was played years ago by Charlton Heston. All of the original Africans all of the original Hebrews were black. All the original Jews were black. You can't be on a continent like Africa with light skin. It's genetically impossible for something like that to happen. So when we see things like this happening, we have to ask ourselves these questions. Here we are around the, the season of Easter, and when you turn on television, every Christ figure has blue eyes, blonde hair, has Eurocentric type 
uh, characteristics. Now, again, it's not about black or white, but it's about the image that we see African Americans portrayed in the media and in Hollywood. We have to understand there is more than one way for we as African Americans and black people to be deemed successful in mainstream. I want to invite you to an event. It's going to be on the 30th of March. It's going to be at 7 p.m. If you look on the screen right now, you'll see my contact information on facebook.com forward slash truth knowledge light. I'm going to put it up as an event and I want you to register to come to that particular free event. We're going to talk about this because I want to hear what you think about it. Now, a lot of us think and wonder what can the solution be? Well, as African Americans, we need to support directors who are um, presenting African Americans in a positive light. What was wrong with the Cosby show? What was wrong with a different world? What was wrong with the Martin show to where you see uh, normal people functioning in a way to where all of this crime and negativity and things of that nature. So those are the things that we want to do. I'm excited about Empire. I'll see you then.